Downtown Tampa once again welcomes Bay Area families to celebrate July 4th with food and fun activities. Joining me with a preview of Tampa Red, White and Blue is the festival director Tashima Johnson. We call her Tosh. Welcome back. How are you? I am great. How are you, Natalie? I'm glad to see you again. This is the third <laughs> time you've been here talking yeah. about this event. Three years and, and going strong. Going strong. We're really excited. I love that we're matching today. <laughs> I knew you were going to be here and so I had to get into my early 4th of July feel with awesome. the red, white, and blue. So what can people expect this year? Because I know personally this continues to get better each year. It's definitely gotten so much better. Actually, this year we have some celebrity appearances. So I'm really looking forward to that. We actually have the Guinness World Record of the world's tallest hat, who is Odalyn Ozar. He actually is from Tampa, and he's coming in his American-made tall hat that's about probably 20 feet tall. Oh my. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. And we have Thudbutt who's coming in from actually California. Thudbutt was the character who um, Rashawn Hammond played in Spielberg, um, Spielberg's movie um, called Hook. Hook. Oh, yes, Peter yes. Pan. Do you remember that? Actually, we were kind of reminiscing <laughs> about who he was, which he's now an illusionist. So yes. he's going to be providing some of the entertainment, right? He is. He's going to do, be doing some meet and greets and um, magic performance for the kids. We're also having FNR music. The beatdown band and our headliners, Ari and the Alibis, that are going to be performing live on stage so the guests get to enjoy some fun jazz music and all that great stuff in the park. Food, of course, the southern of course. food. Everybody loves food, so we're really going to make sure that that's going to be out and ready for everyone to enjoy. And then the Rays are going to be joining us this year. Oh, so nice. they're going to be giving, giving away. Well, the street team is going to be doing some Rays ticket giveaways. Walmart is going to be joining us this year. So they're giving away a lot of stuff in the park, Top Golf, Sun Pass. All of them are coming out to support the event. So it's going to be a lot of fun and people have a lot to look forward to. And the best part is that the event is free. So you yes, can't say that enough. This is a free event, folks. Yes, it's all for the community. You can get your free ticket online at cityfestivals.org. And so and you do need to get a ticket even though it's free. Yeah, just to make sure that we kind of have an idea of how many people are coming and just make sure that people are aware of all the updates and everything. But yes, definitely go on the website and secure your ticket. Bring your family, come in your red, white, and blue. We'll have a patriotic contest, so most That's patriotic. That's what I was going to say. You got to dress patriotic, right? <laughs> yes, everybody come out patriotic, and we have a giveaway for the most patriotic as well. Apple pie eating contest. That's going to be fun as well. And we have a color guard presentation with the Egypt Triners, so that's going to be awesome. And then lastly, our new thing this year is the Tampa Kids CEO Award. So we want to honor some of the young entrepreneurs that we have in our community. We're giving them an opportunity to display their, their excellent work and, of course, award them for their contribution. Good stuff. To our Thank community. you so much, Tosh. I appreciate you coming in and talking about the event. Once again, it's a free event. It's the best way to celebrate July 4th all there in South Tampa. Appreciate you again stopping by. And uh, happy early 4th, right? Happy 4th of July, everyone. We hope to see you there.